Hello friends, welcome back. Uh, in the last tutorial, I have done this card page. Let me show you card.php. So this is a. In the last tutorial, we have done till now. So I'm going to uh, fetch uh, my card record which I have in my local host PHP MyAdmin database. So this is the Khan store database and this is cart. So we have four datas in our cart. I'm going to fetch these four datas from this from here to in this cart.php page with the help of jQuery Ajax method. So come to the cart.php page and this is our uh, template uh, for actually this is delete button with uh, product image name quantity we have done in the last tutorial this so keep this in the comment section this is in comment section now add a div with id equals to cart underscore checkout cart checkout copy this save it and come to the page main.js here is our cart container code so after this I'm going to write cart checkout so I'm going to create a function cart underscore checkout dollar dot zx URL is as usual action dot php mm, method post and data when it success it comes with a value which is run by a function with an argument data so say dollar hash card underscore checkout i have created this uh, here id card checkout so dot html in bracket data save this and call this function card underscore checkout save it come to the action page if set dollar underscore post card underscore checkout We have to give data card checkout one. Save it. Come to the main dot page and write a uh, without uh, writing a different uh, is set function. I'm going to uh, build in, in the same function if I said get underscore card product because it has uh, both are going to do the same work. Both are going to face the data, but uh, this is for uh, card. Uh, card container uh, which we have in the index.php uh, profile.php page so it, uh, we have nothing because we have to sign in so login so we are in profile.php when we click on this card we have four data and for this we have a function this uh, is set dollar card 
in the same function I'm going to write copy this is set copy and paste it here change this to card underscore checkout no this is same save it and this is dollar underscore station uid and we have to take a uh, we have to keep all those uh, we have to fetch all those remaining data like uh, quantity price and total amount so after this image we have dollar qty equals to dollar raw qty and we have price and total amount so oh, we already fetched price so now this time to fetch total dollar raw total so amount so save it and right here if with parenthesis curly parenthesis else just move up and copy this copy get card product and paste in this if and copy this echo with number plus one cut it from here and paste within this if now everything is fine let's save this and check it's work or not so I'm going to check it refresh cart yeah it is fine then come to cart.php yeah it is also fine so now this time to come to the cart.php page and copy this and paste it in the action in this page I uh, now oh no, not like this just say echo with double quotes ends with semicolon and with a tab paste this remove all the double quotes with single quotes like this so most of the double quotes is replaced by single quotes replace this also so now every double quotes is replaced by single quotes just remove this dollar underscore images with jpg code and add variable dollar pro underscore image pro underscore image like this and now we have dollar pro underscore name we have value quantity dollar qty and value price dollar price actually pro price pro underscore price just check me pro underscore price and total save this so we have card checkout and within the card page I have a card checkout button a div so say everything is saved now come to the page refresh so we have card like this 
it look weird it is very pakwas so come to the action page and here is actually our image with different different sizes image src program images give a width equals to 60 pixel and height height actually 60 pixel and width give 50 pixel save this refresh so now it look good and awesome and when we uh, want to uh, more than one quant quantity so when we click 5 this uh, automatically results here the product of this 1200 and into 5 and when we click on this ok button then these, uh, it is going to update our product with the 5 quantities and when you click on this delete button it deletes our product so thanks for watching i hope you like my videos and uh, thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe